Hey everybody, Capper Van Kevin here. How y'all doing today? Turns out that my interior lumber is ready at the lumber mill. Um, my friend that I'm staying with up here in New Mexico, we're, uh, we're in his SUV pulling a trailer and we just passed an RV resort and I saw an RV that I bet you've never seen before. I know I've never seen one before and I'm going to show it to you. We'll take a look at that and then we'll head on down to uh, call it the lumber mill but it's a sawmill we are did y'all get a, a view of that let's get up here closer to it well what you know what got wind i didn't bring my microphone this is a hudson rv this is kind of like a display for this uh campground here Looky, looky, looky. Looks a lot like uh, an Airstream. What do they call those? Alaskan Airstreams? I'm kind of talking off my head. Off the top of my head, I'm not sure. This is not a Hudson, it's a Cadillac. Now what year is this? I don't know. I say it's earlier earlier than a 50 model. Hey pretty lady. All that chrome. All that style. They even got fancy with a windshield wiper cover there. So the front seat raises forward. What year? What year? So they made some kind of shield up here to block the wind. Aluminum body. Got your propane tank setting out back. Trailer hitch. I hope y'all can see something in there. I can't. I got a lot of sun right here. So there's no entry door. You got to go in. You got to go in this way. Got a lock there. Look at that dash. Temperature, battery, gasoline, oil pressure. Got a little fridge, a stove, birch interior. Can't tell what that picture is. I'm not going to go in. There's a little sink. How about that? 
Don't see that every day. I don't love that clock. Woof. I'll work on that door when I cut it off. So I thought y'all might like that. Might might like to see it. So we're several hours from home, headed to the lumber mill. I, I'm gonna get it right, sawmill, to pick up their interior. They said it was gonna be ready later this week and uh, got a call yesterday, so come get it. Wasn't expecting to see that though. I'd love to see it brand new, take it out for a night, wouldn't you? It'd be a blast. So my friend and I here, we were driving through town and uh, I was looking at the phone. I was uploading you guys a video while I had good service and he started hollering. He said, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. <laughs> and I said, what have you seen? He said, there's some hot rod, low rider, COEs up here. I said, a cab over? He said, yeah, we got to get out and look at them. He's going to back the trailer up. Oh my goodness. Oh, come on, wind. Cooperate. Now, my daddy had a truck like this on the farm we used to get hay. This is not a cab over. This is a 4950 Chevrolet. Hey, boss. Can I take a picture? Thank you. Just ask that guy there if we could take some pictures. Yes, yeah, that's, uh, that's almost identical to my daddy's truck. It had the flatbed on it, it was red. And uh, I went to paint and body school and he had sold the truck when I was about 12. And he sold it to a guy that uh, was a block mason. Well, I found the block mason and uh, see if he still had it and he did. I said, I wanna buy it from you. He said, okay. We went back in the woods and looked at it and he just beat it to death and it was full of rust. Uh, no amount of skill could have saved it. I don't think they're for sale. They're all for sale. Yeah? But, uh, this uh, one's for sale just the way it is. We're not even gonna mess with that one. How much for your moving? 60,000? 60, it's got 12 valve Cummins in it. Oh goodness. Uh, triple bellows, 22.5 straight liner wheels. Can you, uh, yes, there's a lot of trouble to show the engine. Oh, wow. Uh, actually, I have a YouTube channel. Yeah. Uh, is it okay if I accidentally get you? Oh, oh. you're good. Cool. Get you on film? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Now, what year Dodge engine is this? Well, this is going to be a 12 valve, so it ranges anywhere from 95? Mid 80s to, I mean, early 80s to. to uh, late 90s but it's considered to be a mid-engine it's behind the cab uh you got the triple bills it'll pick up about a foot so there'll be a dog house over all of this you'll the uh, air ride suspension yep it's actually it's a pretty cool truck i'll show you the inside too if you yeah see yeah it. yeah now is this a uh, box uh is it period correct this u-haul box no, this is uh, this is a lot. This was painted about two weeks ago. <laughs> Even the door, the rest of all is moving company. We're here to stuff your box, your Dosa, New Mexico. Sweet. We're still finishing up the inside. I always wondered if I, yeah, I'm a tall guy, I'm a big guy. I always wondered if I'd fit in one of these oh, suckers. Yeah. That's why we put that tilt steering wheel in there. That's aftermarket, that's not original. That way you can tilt it up if you're a bigger guy, you can get in there, bring it down to where you want it. You can put air conditioning in it? Uh, we, I mean, we can. I think we're actually going to do air conditioning and heating on this one. Well, I can't, I'm just... That one right there, that's a four wheel drive. Uh, that's on 24 fives. That's got a 12, everything has a 12 valve. So that's the diesel for sale there. Yeah, that one's 35. And All that'd right. be cool because you can put it in four-wheel drive and go around through the snow if you want to. 
no kidding, no kidding. What a beauty. I get, I, I'll give you a nickel if you let me sit on it and see if I fit. Yeah, you can. Just go ahead. You know, there's only one way to find out. You see, when I grew up on the farm, we had trucks like that. Oh, yeah. And, yeah, that's what first caught my eye. Bump the camera. I said, I'll never fit. Well, my knees are up kind of high. But it's worth the sacrifice. Beautiful. Aftermarket gauges. Tinted windows. All new glass and gaskets. So this is a restoration shop? Yes, sir. Custom shop. I hear you. Because this is a... This is a 51 cab over GMC on a 96 Dodge. Walk up here while we're at it. Woo! This one's on 24 fives. Four wheel drive frame. We've got your flatbed. You can pull a gooseneck, horse trailer with. Check, so, out, check out the engine, too. So, the name of your shop's Rusty Balls. Rusty Ball Speed Shop. And that, oh, gosh. This is all marine based paint, so it's just like powder coat. My, uh, I learned to drive in a 49 Chevrolet, but it was a half ton. Yeah. Three on the tree. That's awesome. The man behind all the mat. Weird. He's the one that comes up with all the ideas. Flatbed right here. Yep. Look at that dually wheel. Or is that a single? That's a, no, that's no, a dually. That's the other duallys. Woo! Those are all the semis. Gotta get the job done, son. <laughs> well, I sure do appreciate you taking the time to yeah, talk yeah. to me and let me let me see your toys. Oh yeah, this is the guy you got to talk to, and there's a really cool toy sitting back in there. The bread truck. Yeah. Dropped it 13 inches. Oh gosh. Oh, right here. Look at Portland. Whoa. Unbelievable. You know, I'm traveling, I never know when I'm going to run across it. Oh, yeah. To cut 13 inches out of that. Think of how, how much that changes it. <sighs> on air ride, you know. Go, you can go inside it if you want. Might be a little dark. Did y'all hear what year he said it was? I don't remember. What year? 51. Looky, looky, looky. That's the real deal. That's not painted. Rusty Ball Speed Shop. Appreciate, appreciate you letting me look around. Yeah, you bet, dude. I mean, feel free to. Did you read some of the slogans on the shirts? Can I put them online? <laughs> yeah. They all, they all, I mean, like the Rusty Balls Movie Company. We're here to stuff your box. Over here, we got the. See, this is like the. This shirt is for that moving truck. I got you. You know, the see the little deal on the back? You got the little pinup girl with the little Zia symbol tattooed on her. I hear ya. Uh, this is for the fire truck, this one right here, because this is going to be the next one. It's going to get slammed, put on red wheels, and, you know, find them hot, leave them wet. You got to see the ball stack in the fire. Ah. <laughs> I hear you. I hear you. Yeah, we got we got to keep it kid friendly. It's, yeah. it's cool though. Yeah. Awesome. What what's what's the guy's name up there? Uh, that's Josh. Josh, he's the Josh owner. Richardson. Josh Richardson. All right.
right. Awesome. Appreciate it so much. You bet, buddy. Thanks for stopping in. That was fun. What nice people. What cool toys. Doing what you love. Loving what you do. Kind of like me on YouTube. I love being on YouTube. And I love being Camper Van Kevin. And I like showing you cool stuff like this. I had no idea. I'm going to run across all this stuff today. Time to go get the, the wood. So yeah, uh, you can see from the signs on the old cars and business names and everything that uh, we are in Rio Doso, New Mexico. And that's where we're getting this uh, sawmill lumber from. I'm not sure if it's going to be kiln dried or not. I don't think so. Hey, look, there's a windmill. If I ever have my own place again, my last place I settled down, I'm going to get a windmill like my daddy had. We had in our front yard growing up. I'm not real partial to them. I don't want one maybe that tall. I've seen some shorter ones I really like. I think we're here. Unless, uh, That's it. El Molino Sawmill. We're at 6,700 feet in elevation here in Rio, du Rio Doso. We've come down quite a bit. It's rather warm here, even with air conditioning. I think it's above 100 today, maybe 104, 105. I don't think I've ever seen it over 105 in Georgia growing up. There it is right there. Looky, looky, looky. There's a wood miser sawmill. Excuse the bouncing. I wonder what kind of pine trees these are. That's not Ponderosa. I don't think. What kind of is this? Ponderosa. It is Ponderosa. There she is. How many feet of this is this? That is 400 square feet. 400 board feet. 400 board feet. Get it on the trailer here. He's got all kind of lumber here. And a little bit of wind but this he told me this was the pile that uh, he used to uh, get my boards from he said it came off an Indian reservation here he said they're very good managing their forest and this come out of a fire break they were cutting to actually save the forest uh, I'm gonna mess up the name of the tribe it starts with M I'll say it here in a minute no need to mess it up so this is what my interior lumber for the tiny cabin this is what it came from wood miser hydraulic he said him and his father own this and run this I really like this lumber here. They call it, they call it live edge. I like that a lot. Okay, the wood's loaded up. And I was asking him. I said. Is that already mildew in it? He says, no. He said, that's the bark beetles. 
He said when they attack a tree, they release an enzyme into the tree. And when you cut it and look at it, it's blue. And I thought it was mildew. I said, how could that mildew so quickly? He said, oh no, that's not what it is. Yeah, buddy. And people are going to ask, so I'll tell you now. This was $450. Ponderosa pine, one by sixes. So, this came off the Mescalero Indian Republic. As the, so this came off the Mescalero Indian Reservation. And these trees, like I said, they were cut to form a fire break. So, that's the fire breaks to save the other trees. And uh, so none of this is, you know, would have been wasted otherwise if it wasn't the salt into lumber. It makes me feel good knowing that, you know, it wasn't just harvested just for the, just for the wood. It was harvested to try to save the forest. Okay, that was fun. I'm glad you guys got to hang out with me today. Um, had no idea we'd see that old Cadillac RV. Then uh, those old uh, those old trucks. That was icing on the cake. And then to get to see where my boards came from and I'll know a little bit about their history, it makes it even better. So anyway, that was good. So this is just a good point. <laughs> I get tongue twisted sometimes. My, my lips are dry. I need to get some drink some water. But this is a good place as any to end this video. So I'm going to end it where? Right here. I appreciate each and every one of you. I appreciate my friend for bringing me up here and using his truck and trailer to get my wood. Thank you so much for watching my videos. Hey, we'll see you again soon. You guys take care. Bye-bye.